Go ahead, Teddy. Hey, uh, Patrick, Teddy, Patrick, hey, Bucky, it's Bob Pearson here. Um, I, I did a little research before the London event. You, your world ranking points. You were, you were 36. I'm, I'm getting hammered. Well, I, 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 I <laughs> today, you're, you're 56. My, yeah. my question is, do you honestly think you're the 56th no, player in the world? No, not at all. Um, the only thing I'll say about all of that is the longer that you have competitive golf and competition with such great players and top players, the longer they're playing events that aren't getting world ranking points, it just, you know, it just makes the world ranking system in, insignificant. I mean, let's be honest, it, it's not a true system if you're not counting all the events and having points for everybody. If you're competing for a golf tournament and they meet every criteria that you're supposed to meet in order to have world ranking points, then they should be getting world ranking points no matter what. Uh, it doesn't matter where you're playing, who you're playing, and what tour you're on or anything like that. And if you're trying to say that we don't deserve world ranking points, this and that, then it's a political battle. It's not an actual true system. And uh, last time I checked, every sport you play, it's based off of competition and who you're playing, how strong that field is, and who wins, and you're allocated certain things. doesn't matter what tour you're playing on.